Hi, my name is Ellen and I'm a registered behavior technician here at Team for Kids. Today I am going to talk about some tools that you can put in your toolbox to help you in your day-to-day -day life, whether your child has autism or not. The first tool that we like to use is something called a schedule. It can be simple, like a first then board, where it says first I'm going to the bathroom to brush my teeth, then I get to watch my favorite video. Something simple that helps them understand, yes, you're going to do an activity that you might not necessarily enjoy, but after that comes something that's fun that you like to do. You can make it a little more complex like this, where it says today I will, and you can either write or put pictures of the activities that you want them to do. And then once those pictures have been taken off or those words have been erased, they know that they are done with their day. Or um, lastly, we can do something like this, where it says to do and done. So you put the things you want them to do on this side, and then as they complete those activities, you just take out the picture, you move it to the done side, and then when this side is empty, they know that they have finished their activities for the day. Um, another tool that we can use is timers. You can set it on your phone, you can set it on your watch, you can get them a little digital timer so that they can watch the numbers, or you could even get them a sand timer if maybe they're a little bit more of a visual learner and being able to see the time running out will kind of help them understand um, what's happening. So those timers are always great for when they're in the middle of an activity and you want them to move on, but rather than interrupting them right when they're in the middle of what they're doing, you can set a timer and say, okay, we have two minutes, we have five minutes, we have until the sand is all gone, and then we're gonna be all done and move on to the next thing, whatever it is that you want them to do. Um, that gives them something to look at, something tangible, that helps them keep track of time um, and they're always free to ask for more time if that's something that they really want. Uh, another tool is social stories. So there are social stories for everything from why you should wear your glasses to why we don't hit our friends. Um, you can find a simple social story that just kind of outlines here's the reasons why we do this thing or you can find stories that are a little bit more fun um, but still teach the basic lesson that you're trying to get them to understand. Um, so, you know, something like there's a story out there, can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, um, but it's about a dinosaur who goes to school and likes to bite her classmates. And then one day she gets bitten by the class's pet fish and suddenly she understands why her classmates don't enjoy it when she tries to bite them. Um, and it changes her behavior because now she understands why it's not appropriate. And then last but not least, um, a great tool is to give them choices. So if you need to go to the grocery store and the library, um, you can ask them, what do you want to do first? Do you want to go to the store and get groceries or do you want to go to the library and pick up books? Um, they're both activities that you want to get done, but you are giving them the autonomy to make that decision of which one happens first. They understand that they're both gonna happen, um, but they feel like they're in control of that decision of which place you go to first. Or you can use a choice as a reinforcer. Let's say you want them to eat their broccoli at dinner. You can tell them, okay, after we've eaten our broccoli at dinner, do you want a cookie or a piece of candy? or a scoop of ice cream or you know a donut whatever it is that you have on hand that you know that they really enjoy and will really motivate them to eat that broccoli so if you have any other questions um, don't hesitate to reach out to your child's VCA. if your child is getting other therapy services here at team for kids but you think the aba might be a good fit for them don't hesitate to talk to their therapist about getting a referral for ABA so that they can get evaluated. Have a great day.